Hi, today we're gonna put this SMA connector onto an LMR 240 cable. Uh, first thing I did was I gave it a nice clean cut. Uh, might as well do it again. Careful not to crush it too much. Uh, next I'm gonna strip it. I'm just gonna use an RG59 uh, stripper because I don't have anything set up to cut for this particular connector. Pop that off the jacket. I'm gonna take back to about 10 millimeters, which is about here. So you don't need a stripper. You can just use, you can just use a cable cutter. You just have to be careful not to cut the inside, uh, the braided shield. Uh, before we go too far, I'm gonna put on this metal coupler here and the center pin The center pin, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to about three millimeters. It's pretty small. We'll go ahead and peel back this braided part a little bit and make sure that it's not touching foil is not touching the center pin it's not now I'm gonna take my crimping tool I've preloaded the pin because it's really small and hard to work with into the 0 0.052 die here so we're gonna go ahead and slip that on okay it's attached just barely though you can see it's really small um, this would probably be only good in an emergency or maybe if you really wanted to solder it on. So now we're going to go ahead and slide the connector on. You can see the center pin actually pops through. Where'd it go? Like that. And we're gonna go ahead and take the braid and push that back up. Uh, it doesn't need to be trimmed because I actually cut the jacket back maybe a tiny bit too far. But that's still okay. Oh, there's one that's a little bit too long right here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and crimp. We're gonna be using the 0.255 crimping tool. And you can see we've got a pretty good connection. Um, where's my heat shrink? I'm gonna go ahead and throw some heat shrink on and then we'll test the cable. Looks good. I can see the adhesive uh, peeking out from behind the, the uh, heat shrink. Uh, I'll go ahead and give this a quick test with the multimeter. I've got the other side is hooked up to the center pin, which you can see there. See there? We've got a good tone on the center conductor, nothing on the outside. So this looks like another successful cable.